What are your thoughts on the Russian white, blue, white flag being used by both peaceful protesters and armed fighters opposing Putin? Uh, will it become more controversial? Mm. Mm, so being both by both peaceful protesters and armed fighters opposing Putin. I mean, I don't think armed fighters against Putin is right now controversial. Yeah. Like, isn't that like being celebrated right now? Like all forms of a per, uh, position against Putin, whether armed or unarmed? I think initially that flag was was being championed by people who were actively against, uh, you know, violence or, or fighting of any kind. Mm -hmm. And now has also been been uh, co-opted by some people that are on the front lines. It's like I, I am the type of person that that really tends to fall in the pacifism stuff like i'm i'm definitely not the person that's going to be like fighting people myself and stuff i don't get into like fist fights at the bar much anymore but um that being said i think it's i think it's a pretty naive view of the world to think that we we can just always be completely pacifist about stuff and yeah, of course there are going to be Ukrainians that are fighting back for their home. Like, of course that's going to be the case. And it absolutely has to be the case, um, you know, from, from the international politics of it. it. We shouldn't live in a world where countries are just able to just go take whatever they want anymore. Um, I don't know if the flag is going to be as contra like if it's going to become more controversial because of this. Um, I'm sure there'll be some people that are a little upset by it, but at the end of the day, I think both of those groups seem to be pretty much on the same side. Um, they may not 100% agree, but both of them seem to be not for the whole Putin deciding to recreate the USSR, which again, like I, I agree with that. So, you know. So uh, people are saying like, maybe some people are saying that, okay, fine, do your armed resistance. But this flag was not supposed to represent that. Maybe and that's fair. And that's, a, and that's a fair statement, right? I mean, that's, that's how it is with a lot of different things. Of course, the issue with that, at least in part, um, you know, is how everything spreads so quickly these days online. I mean, like, for instance, um, are you familiar with the, the Pepe the Frog, like that meme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it has been co-opted by a lot of very hateful groups over the years. Um, and it was actually even listed as a hate symbol on um, a couple of different like nonprofits or something like they listed it right next to some other well-known ones that we don't need to call out for the YouTube censors. But um, like the original person who created that was absolutely against all of that and still to this day is is very, you know, against a lot of the, the Yahtzee and all of that other stuff that has really co-opted it. But that person doesn't have claim to that image anymore because other people mm. have just started using it, right? And so we live in a world where people are just going to co-opt things. And at the end of the day, unfortunately, you, you don't have complete control once something is out there. Once you've created something, it, it's out there for the world and people are going to use it. I don't, I don't disagree with the people that are saying like, hey, this flag had a different intention originally. And I think we should get back to that intention. Um, but I would also probably say uh, if you're a peaceful protester against Putin taking over Ukraine and there are people who are, you know, on your side, but like fighting in the war, I, I wouldn't be a dick to those people and push them against you. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're also on your team. So that's, that's probably worth remembering. Yeah, you're right. Like you can't control how people use symbolism. You're like, oh, this is meant to be this. Well, symbols meanings are supposed to be organic and changing. So yep. there's yep. no, it, you can't just, you, you're not going to be able to control that. So you might as yeah, well and just you, give it to it. And you can do your best, you know, and, and I don't think that, I don't think it's, you know, a wrong move to, to remind people regularly, like, hey, this is what this symbol originally meant and explain that history and, you know, educate people. Um, but you know, people use all kinds of symbols, unfortunately, and sometimes they are, they are jerks about it and they are not super willing to stop that. So, mm. so secular Sakai is saying, um, Russians inside Russia are reportedly using mm. the flag and attacking officials, 
but some rumor that it may be a false flag operation by Russian intelligence agencies. Yeah. I don't know if I buy the false flag operation because if it's how what would I what would that accomplish? Like, I mean, already people are thinking Putin is killing a whole bunch of like oh. high up officials, and if you you know if it's if it's actual false flag, then more Russians who are actually loyal to Putin are going to be nervous about the fact that they might be next you know what i mean yeah. like this is the best way to turn pro putin people against putin so i don't know what would be the purpose like you know like you know if how much anti-ukrainian um sentiment can you buy by killing <laughs> pro putin russians like i don't think it's going to happen. and how much is time. and how much is needed i mean it yeah. seems to be the case that a handful of different on the ground type polls and you know we can argue about whether or not polls are 100 percent accurate and all that jazz but it there there does seem to be some information that um you know the average person in in russia right now is is feeling a bit different uh than the average person in like the united states or western europe in terms of this 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 war and they are a little bit more on the side of Putin. Not wholly, not 100%, of course. Um, but the vast majority of them, though. Yeah, the vast majority. It is, it is quite a good bit. And, yeah. and you know, I don't, I don't know that you need to really stir up any more, like, Mother Russia sentiment in, in Russia. Um, I think there, there may be... The, the whole thing with the false flag, especially right now, there there may be something to that just in the sense of what the oligarchs are doing and, and how the, the rich, you know, businessmen and so forth that um, really do have a lot of say in, in the Russian government and finances and so forth. It, it could be that, hey, somebody's trying to signal to them, you know, this guy's more shaky, so feel more liberated to to move against him but i i don't think there's that many oligarchs that have expressed their disappointment there have been a couple of really big notable ones um there's somebody wrote a you know a big letter about it and supposedly put a bounty on his head but i don't know how serious much of that is so yeah let's see yeah i agree i don't but i think like this if i had to guess i think it just was a serious opposition against mm -hmm. Not, mm -hmm. not trying to discredit flag. Uh, get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.